Hadith 7 Perfect Light on the Day of Qiyamah Sahal ibn Sa'ad God be pleased with him narrates that he heard Rasulullah uh, that he heard the Messenger of God divine contact upon him in peace saying, Give good news to those who go to the mosque often during the hours of the darkness for they will have perfect light on the day of rising. And this is narrated by Ibn Majah Hakim Well, it's narrated by a lot of people, but we're seeing the chapters here. Termithi. Abid Dawood. Okay. An Sahle bin Sa'adin Sa'adiyya Qala Qala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Bashir Mashafina Fi Tholame Elal Masajid Bin Nuri Tamme Yam al Qiyama. The value of going to the masjid in the darkness of the night should be realized on the fearful day of Qiyamah, when everybody shall be in a very miserable condition, a person putting himself in inconvenience in the hours of darkness in this world shall be greatly rewarded in the next world, as he shall carry with him a light brighter than that of the sun. In a hadith, it is reported that such persons shall occupy shining seats with no worry at all, while others will be in great confusion in another hadith, it is said that Allah will say on the day of Qiyamah, where are my neighbors? The Malaika will inquire, Who are thy neighbors, O Allah? Allah will reply, Those who used to go to the mosques. Well, I don't know why he didn't just say Masajid. Because they're up, but anyways. In a hadith, it is said, Of all the places on this earth, the mosques are the, uh, the the masajid are the nearest to God, and the markets are the most disliked. In another hadith, the masajid are called the gardens of Jannah. Abu Sa'id, radiallahu anhu, narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam once said, "Bear witness that the iman of the person regularly going to the masjid." And then he recited the following verse of the Quran. Inama ya amuru masajadalahi man amana belahi wal yamil akir. He only shall tend to Allah's masajid who believes in Allah in the last day. Surah 9 8 18. Inama ya amuru masajid Allah wal The following are a few more a hadith about the fadail of salah with jama'a, making wudu when inconvenient, walking towards the masjid and sitting there after one salah, waiting for the next salah, wipe out the sins. The farther a person lives from a masjid, the more rahmah he receives. This is because a person coming from a distance shall have to walk more and more, as we've already mentioned. Every step will get him a rahmah. For this very reason, some sahaba have been reported to be taking short steps and going to the masjid in order to earn more rahmah. Another hadith states that there are three things in this world for which people would fight with one another if they came to know the rewards. These are to call out the adhan, to go to the masjid for khohar in the scorching heat of the sun, and to be in the first line while in salah with the jama'ah. Another hadith is said that seven persons shall be under the shade of Allah's rahmah on the day of Qiyamah, when everybody will be in great confusion under the intense heat of the sun, one of them will be the person whose heart remains attached to the masjid. He is anxious to return to the masjid if he leaves it on any account. Another hadith narrates that Allah loves those who love the masjid.